said there isn't enough. I went once for a men's breakfast and the guy who was ahead of me, he served four sausages. And I wondered, doesn't this guy consider his friends? And why is he taking all this? First, will he finish? Two, has he considered others on the queue? It occurred to me this gentleman has done this because he has a scarcity mentality. He cannot believe that we can have enough sausages for himself and others. So he has to hold what he has. The Bible says, as a man thinks, so he is. Proverbs 23, verse 7. If you're always thinking there isn't enough, actually that's how you live your life. The other day I was also, not the other day, a few years ago, I was uh, boarding a bus. There was a nice queue, but it was a, a, a line of about, let's say, five people. When it came time for boarding, people were rushing into the bus. And it occurred to me, there's no use to rush. We are only about five. But these guys are used that there can never be enough space. And that is something that will keep you always struggling until you realize it is not God's intention. God's economy is of plenty and variety. There are so many species of plants, so many species of birds, so much variety, you know, all over the universe. Look at the stars. God has enough of them. The sand on the seashore is more than enough. Therefore, there is more than enough for each one of us in this world. But you've got to start thinking, change your mentality from uh, men, uh, scarcity mentality to plentiful uh, things. So if you now stop thinking about scarcity and think of abundance, people will begin to treat you that way. So you are not always rushing to get this and the other. You are not always acting like there can never be enough. The Bible says contentment with godliness is great gain. For there is nothing we brought into this world, there is nothing we will take out. With what we have, we can be grateful and we know that God can always earn us more. And we live as if we already have. As you live like that, people will treat you like that and it will eventually manifest in your life. As a man thinks, so he is. Think abundance, think satisfaction, think contentment, don't think scarcity. This is Sitam Church Online with Reverend Jotham Munene. I'm glad to have you. May God bless you as you reflect on this.